now i'm going to explain how to assign the direction of a bending moment so here actually the direction of bending moment is expressed as an arrow simply using right hand screw rule so according to right hand screw rule so right hand means you have to use your right hand and screw so how you will uh, know the direction of the bending moment so first of all just just see here you can see here that this is the tension this is compression so so the moment here actually if we uh, consider it i think it is anti-clockwise direction the moment is acting in the anti-clockwise direction so if you see that it is in the anti-clockwise direction that means and you can see here and just uh, you can see the hand here so just use the four fingers of your hand and just try to bend those four fingers along the anti-clockwise direction and you just focus on the thumb of your hand so if you bend your four fingers like this then your thumb will go to the rightward direction that means if the moment is acting in the anti-clockwise direction the direction of the moment will be in the rightward direction so in that way you can assign the direction of the bending moment and here clockwise the bending uh, moment is acting in the clockwise direction so here we can see you have also have to use your right hand and then just try to bend your four fingers in the clockwise direction and then you can find that your thumb is going toward the leftward direction so here the direction is in the right uh, leftward direction here from this example uh, it will be clear and i think uh, we have to think about first because uh, when you uh, get a problem you have to think first i will not uh, give you the answer first just i want you to think first for example you can see from this figure that a force f is acting about the section bb okay so so moment is acting about this y axis you can see here so the moment is my so if you use your right hand and according to right hand screw rule just it is anti clockwise direction and your thumb will go toward the upward direction so the direction of the moment will be upward okay so in that way just try to imagine that moment is acting in the clockwise direction and your thumb is the rightward uh, upward direction so the duration of the bending moment is in the upward direction so in that way we can uh, able to understand how to assign the duration of a bending moment so that's all from my presentation uh, so if you do not understand anything please don't hesitate to ask me and you can leave your comments in the comment section under this video and uh, and uh, wish you all the best for your study and uh, and surely we will meet on the next video so thank you very much for your kind presence